Hello, this is the first episode I'm going to be doing of a series of odd meats. Uh, this is just strange meats with vanilla cream. And today we're looking at uh, deviled ham. And this is a, this is a really unique uh, food source. It's, it's a canned meat, so otherwise known as potted meat. Uh, a really unusual food source. It, it really doesn't have a shelf life. You could, you know, keep this for, for years on end and uh, you'll still have a pretty fresh uh, meal. And if we look at the ingredients... Um, uh, oh, of course I can't. Because, you know, what, what good would focusing be? Oh wow, I really can't. So you can see the ingredients are... Uh, You know, ham, obviously, with water, salt, brown sugar, sodium, uh, seasoning, like mustard, flour, spices, and turmeric. So it's a pretty pretty sweet ham dish. Um, I'm really excited to see how it's going to taste, uh, and we'll find out together. And first it has this like really unusual, aesthetically pleasing wrapping here. So we got to just uh, start by opening that up. And uh, have a little cannon here. And uh, immediately drop it. And I dented it a bit. But um, here's our can of meat. Um, now, th this may not look like a lot of meat, but this, this whole thing is fucking packed. So I'm excited to see. Uh, how packed exactly? Uh, there it is. So this is our potted meat uh, in, in a pretty cute looking can. If it, you know, I think it's pretty cute. And immediately I get the smell of ham. And it smells fresh, actually. It's not smell odorous or anything. And just out of, out of curiosity, I want to see. Um, made in the USA. Doesn't really give you a date. But, um, I was kind of hoping that this was made like eight years ago. Anyway, uh, let's try this out. That tastes really fucking good. So, for the preparation of the, uh, uh, canned meat, I'm gonna, uh, you know, put a little, uh, mayo on it and spread it with this. So. I think first thing I'm gonna do is spread the mayo. Uh, and I'm using a potato roll here, which I think they're, I don't know, something about potato rolls is, is better than an average roll. Bomb smarter than the average ranger. I've heard people putting mustard on this too. I just wanna see how it tastes um, uninhibited with any flavor beyond uh, mayonnaise. <laughs> It's interesting. It has like an oily taste. Like you can tell there's like an oil preservative in there. So you get the... It's actually really good. Hmm. Very salty. But it tastes fresh, like, it doesn't taste, uh, like it's been sitting there for too long. And I'm gonna put a pretty generous amount, this actually tastes really good. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. Just a thin layer, and it says to refrigerate the rest. Which I think I'm gonna have this for dinner. So I'm gonna, uh, <laughs> Just keep it covered like that and in the fridge. And we have our little ham sandwich here. Take a bite out of that. That is not bad at all. I actually really enjoy that flavor. There's a depth of flavor there that um, all the hammy juices, the hammy oils, and very salt. I like salt, so if I had to eat that for the rest of my life, I would not mind. So, um, out of, uh, 
I'm gonna do a meat score here. Um, so 10 would be like uh, the best meat ever. I'd give this a solid, um, I'd give this a, like a, I want to say six, but that seems a little high. So, because it, because it is like, I'd still consider this like trash meat, but it's good meat, you know. So, I would say it's a solid 5.5. .5. And I'm a tough critique. So, like I would put most deli meats at, at like a, a three. So, this is better than deli meat. Um, definitely I would recommend it. And uh, this Underwood brand is really good. Look for the devil. Uh, fantastic. And uh, just type in requests for what meat I should, uh, you know, leave it in the comment section what meat I should try next. Uh, um, I'm going to try kangaroo. Uh, I've had kangaroo before, but I want to have a full steak of it. Uh, I'm going to try python, alligator, uh, um, cobra. Uh, I might even try to uh, get elephant if I can get that. Um, so just uh, leave a comment with what kind of meat you, you think I should eat. And uh, I will give it a rating, an honest rating, and I'll uh, eat it. Pretty much any meat, like even rat or like possum, I'll try it out, you know. But as long as it's an unusual meat, like I'm not going to be sitting here eating a fucking hamburger, so. Right there. Look at that. It's fresh as a fuck. Right in there. 